What's up, YouTube? Gemini Johnny back again with another compilation of some of the weirdest, creepiest, and most unexplained TikToks I can find. If you missed my video last week on the history of conspiracy theories, a deep dive on a few conspiracies that actually happened, as well as how to be a responsible digital citizen in this day of misinformation and disinformation, go check out my video from last week. I think I said last week twice, but that's okay. I think you'll like it, so go check it out. After this video, obviously. And now without further ado, let's jump right in. A man was in a cemetery in Serbia when all of a sudden he started hearing strange sounds coming from inside a grave and this is what he captured on camera check this out nope 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 time to go kind of seems like it's coming out of the speaker though that same week he went home and while refurbishing his home, he found a very strange object. Is what he found. He found a piece of paper, some hair, and while doing all of this, he felt this was some sort of black magic or some sort of curse. This is what he found. Check this out. Really creepy. Now. Mm -mm. Is that blood? On the right side? Oh. Bro, you need to burn that and find Jesus. Uh, yeah, that's super terrifying. You know, obviously, like with any of these, it could be fake, of course. Take all these with a grain of salt, is what I always say. But, uh, real creepy. Give me... Does anybody know that language? Does anybody recognize that? It's definitely not English. Yeah, real creepy. Don't like that. I had something happened to me once it made me quit a job i i worked for a smoke shop in los angeles and we would get paid in cash every week we got paid in cash it was kind of cool but our cat our envelopes we would we'd get our cash in an envelope and it would be under the register or in the register and we'd have to go in on whatever day we got paid and i think it was wednesdays or something and pick up our envelopes you know no big deal i did this for three months or something every week not a big deal every time i would get the envelope for three months they were always just kind of they weren't sealed closed. They weren't. They were. They were left like flapped open, so that they could count it and then confirm that it's what you're supposed to be making that week. And then that way you're not leaving and being like, "Oh, there's actually twenty dollars missing." They would count it in front of you, and they'd know how much you were supposed to get paid. Uh, then one week I went in, and I always had issues with the the owners. Well, one of the owners. It was a couple that owned it, and the the woman uh, always seemed to just. She just. I just got the feeling she didn't like me. I got the feeling that I was a bother to her for some reason and probably because i didn't just i don't know bend over backwards for everything they wanted us to go above and beyond to do for a minimum wage job what an asshole and one week i went in and my envelope was taped shut with one single red hair looped from what it was looped like this it was like in the tape there was a piece of tape and it looped in and looped out and each end of the hair was sticking out on either end and the woman that owned the place she was, she was a redhead. She was a red-haired woman. And yeah, I think it's the only, call, the only job I've ever no-call, no-showed. Because I blocked their numbers and I just never went back in. Because uh, that was creepy. And I went home and burnt that envelope and spent the cash. I think I'm all right, so. It felt like she was trying to put a curse on me. Wild. Time to move. Great graffiti. Bones are still there. Bones? I look like bones. Oh, maybe, maybe some of them do. Approaching a ladder, he takes a look above, and we can see something big move and make a crashing sound. I mean, it could have been an animal, but... As if he but... wanted to come after Chris, but he quickly runs away. Hmm. However, the worst is yet to come. What? Moments later, Chris takes a few moments to catch his breath, 
when the unthinkable happens. Raccoons can be vicious, though. Raccoons can be scary. Oh, oh we've seen this before. And this is why you don't go ghost hunting by yourself. Cut for time as he was unconscious. With a sad thought right behind me. Also probably wear a respirator. We go searching these abandoned places. It's the pro tip. Definitely, if you're gonna go explore abandoned places, definitely wear a respirator. You don't know what kind of asbestos or black mold or just the nasty dirt that you, they got in there. You don't want to be breathing that in. I promise you. Yeah, I think we've seen that before. But uh, real creepy if it's real, you know. Oh, this is as real as can get. Hello, spirit. So you're back. I am back. And I'm I am. I've been coming here quite often. I'm glad you recognize me. Very good memory. You have a very good memory, apparently. A lot of spirits don't. It's not their faults, though. Spirit, can you tell me your name? I'd love to hear your name before I go look at the grave. Things I would do. The things you would do. Her club. Oh no. Uh oh. Now, everybody, this happens every now and then. Retreat stuff. Um, we might have a Randy spirit here, if you know what, if you know what I mean. Aspect. Spirit, can you please tell me your name? Every now and then, I get them. It's the nip nips. Yeah, that seemed pretty creepy, but, you know, like I said before, I don't know how much we can trust those ghost apps. Uh, although, I'm not sure if that was actually an app, because it didn't look like the ghost tube thing, so I'm not sure if he had a ghost box or something separate, but mm, pretty creepy. It would have been creepier if it said its name, and then he went and showed the gravestone, and that was the name on it. <laughs> Which, I'm sure that's what he was going for, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. If your kid has an imaginary friend, be very careful. Here's why. User Job and Go uploaded a horrifying video where his mother was taking care of his nephew one night. But on the next day, his nephew tells him he had met with a new friend while staying there and had been playing with him for most of the day. Spooked out since he should be the only boy in the house, they check the ring security cameras, and this is what they captured. Oh. In the video, as the boy leaves a room that's out of camera sight, you can see the lights flicker. Then, as the boy's leaving the area, something that looks identical to him is seen exiting and re-entering the room. Horrified, the family explains they have no idea who or what this could be. It's been raining like crazy in Texas, bro. Ooh. Dang. Oh, it's gonna strike. Yep. <laughs> 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 hmm. 
No. The hell? How's she doing Superman's? Uh, it's a great lower back exercise. Uh. Nope. Time to burn it. Can't just put it in the trash. I saw that episode of The Twilight Zone. Time to burn, baby. Uh-oh. It's gonna be in the wave. Is it a shark? Yep. <laughs> the hell is wrong with her? Why would you do that to that dog? Crazy. She kept waking up to strange noises at 4 a.m. And this is what she found. A couple began recording their recent hauntings after a horrifying encounter with a strange shadow figure. One night, while alone in the house, she begins to hear the same strange noises that had been haunting them. Hola, gente. Hey guys, again those sounds. You can still hear the sounds downstairs. She goes to shack. What she finds is terrifying. Sora. Sora. Oh. Oh. Sora, subi. Sora, go up. I'm guessing Sora was a dog. She didn't notice, but what looks like hands can be seen waiting for her downstairs. That's why your dog didn't want to come up the stairs. You're calling it up. It's like, hey, yo, there's a demon down here. It's gonna be the dolls, isn't it? It's always the dolls. How did I know? Also, what's with the creepy doll in the box back behind it with the cross on top? What is that, an Annabelle doll or something? What did he notice? Hit it. What is he doing? Is he trying to prove there's no string attached or something? Oh. Oh, I think the chair was just, I thought it was a rocking chair. All the drawers are going to be open. Classic. I'm gonna pop out. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Uh, ghost down in the kitchen. Nope. Oh, this one, dude. I know this is probably fake. Oh, let me move myself. Bruh. Look at that thing crawling on him. Standing on his chest, bro. You can kind of see the indentation in his chest, too. That's crazy. I mean, look, if I ever dealt with sleep paralysis, I would probably be filming myself, too. This is my first question. It's always like, why are these people filming, even? But you can see on that one, he had a couple cameras set up. I'm sure he's been dealing with crazy stuff while he's sleeping. And he was like, I'm trying to capture this. Yeah, weird. Because I don't know anyone that sets up, like the one we saw with the dolls in the chair that was rocking or whatever. I don't know that anyone, who sets up security cameras in their living room? Do, do any of you out there do that? I've never heard of people doing this. Like, why would you? We see these sometimes, people that have security cameras set up inside of their home. But like, is that supposed to go outside? Don't you want to know what's going on outside? Not yet. You should know. I don't know. It's just weird to me. Here's footage of someone who encountered something really terrifying.
I'm so scared. I'm really scared. She said, oh my god. I'm already tired, I swear. Oh. Who are you? It's like it's luring her. It smells bad in here. Not a good sign. It won't leave me alone. I, no, 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 no. I can't think of a better reason to get out than the lights turning off. If the lights go, so do I. The darkest conspiracies. Despite its name, it's quite the opposite of Sunshine. One of the darkest conspiracies ever conceived is Project Sunshine. Commissioned by the U.S. Atomic Energy Committee and the U.S. Air Force, Sunshine was designed to investigate the effects of nuclear radiation on humans and the surrounding environment. Here's where it gets darker. Project Sunshine saw the U.S. government utilize, without permission, the parts of dead children and infants. Children generally have more strontium in their bones, making them more prone to radiation damage, making them perfect for test subjects. Leave a comment if this disturbed you. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely one of the more... It's not even a conspiracy theory. It was a real thing that happened, by the way. Definitely one we'll be getting to in my conspiracy series. We'll definitely do a deep dive on that one of these days. I say that, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know if YouTube will let me talk about it in depth. But yeah, that's a wild one. Yeah, once you start looking into conspiracy theories that actually came true, it gets pretty dark. Because... And the American government isn't the sole perpetrator of these kinds of things, by the way. Other governments do it as well. But America has, you know, the biggest defense force in the world so uh, naturally they've done some pretty wicked stuff to get there makes you wonder what kind of projects are going on right now that we're not going to know about for another 20 years horrifying humanoid creatures caught on camera in this creepy video the man taking the video appears to be searching for his friend in a dark warehouse of some sort as he is looking he is surprised when he sees an inhuman face staring at him from behind some objects <laughs> The face turns to look at him. The being has a grayish white complexion and red eyes. That's weird. These are scary facts about popular childhood movies, part two. Up first, in Lilo and Stitch the movie, there was a scene where Stitch hijacks a Boeing 747 jet and crashes it through a building to save Lilo. But after 9-11, Disney went back and changed the sequence completely, fearing it would be too close to the real life attacks. Yep. The scene was then replaced with a spaceship being hijacked and crashing into the mountains instead. You can actually watch the original deleted scene on YouTube. Next up, Robert Knox, who played Marcus Belby in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, was stabbed to death just a few days after he finished mm -hmm. filming. He was only 18 at the time of his murder. Yep. Yeah, that's a sad one, man. He was trying to stop a fight outside of a bar in London to protect his brother, who was like uh, underage, I believe 17. He was being threatened by a man with two kitchen knives. And that guy went on to be arrested, Carl Norman Bishop. Young man, he's only four years older than me. And he got life in prison without the possibility of parole until a minimum of 20 years before being considered for parole. You know, they got the guy, but... Uh, Man, yeah, truly sad. Three young people's lives just being ruined. Plus whoever else, you know, was right there and witnessed it and has to deal with the trauma of that. You know, ugh, God, obviously we lost one. Another young person got sent to jail for the rest of, potentially for the rest of their life. Man, sad stuff. Three most horrifying science experiments. Number one, Frankenmouse. The picture you see has actually been given the name Earmouse and was the product of simple stitching. His creators molded sterile, biodegradable mesh into the shape of a human ear, which they seeded with bovine cartilage cells. To grow the ear, they stitched the ear-shaped scaffold onto a nude mouse with no immune system, and the mouse's own blood vessels nourished the incipient ear. Number 2. Zombie Dogs Two Russian scientists released a video of dog heads that were kept alive by an artificial blood circulation system. They used a special heart-lung apparatus called the autojector, and the scientists showed dog heads responding to sounds by wiggling their ears, blinking, and even licking their mouths. Number 3. Young Blood Rejuvenation Scientists who were interested in aging joined two mice together, one young and one old, and studied the effects. When its circulatory system was connected to that of a younger mouse, the old mouse experienced reverse aging in its muscles and in its brain.
Ugh. Like, I know we need weirdos to do scientific stuff so that we can have scientific discoveries. And it is kind of cool. You can reverse aging by attaching yourself to a younger body. But, like, that's never going to happen. I mean, we're never going to... Or maybe it is, and that's what all the adrenochrome stuff is about. <laughs> um, yeah, that ear on the mouse, dude. That's such a trip that we made that happen. You know, there's some theories that say that the reason Atlantis fell was because we started doing these weird DNA hybrids of animals and humans and stuff, and then the gods got mad and sent a cataclysm to wipe out all of humanity because we were too powerful or something. And if that's true, <laughs> I don't think the gods are going to be too happy with what we got going on now. A female named Tina died and became this form of death. In fact, we all become this. This is the fucking orb guy. Tina, eat your food! Wow. Well, it's a good thing he confirmed that it wasn't dust, because that was my first thought. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Because he is the orb guy. He would know, right? He's an orb expert. <laughs> it was dust. Restless spirits. Please wear earphones. Como que fuera. I don't know what it's like. Bestia, wey. Hmm. Oh, mame, wey. No mames. Permiso. A good flashlight. Now you see me, now you don't. A seemingly headless woman shoots across the screen at an incredible speed. It looks like Mike Wazowski. Where did she shoot across the screen? <laughs> All right, we get it. <laughs> Ouija Geist. It's like a poltergeist they brought him with a Ouija board or something. What the fuck was in my bag? What the fuck was in my bag? I'm clearly going crazy. This is a spirit. No, it's something else. Look, 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 look. Ooh, Jesus. Okay, that was weird. I gotta, let me go back and watch that again. Pushing from that side, then it pushes from the other side. Yeah, that was real weird. Uh, I didn't like that one. Do you know who that guy is? Anybody seen that creator before? I, I couldn't find a name on the TikTok, but... The clinic. He's alone. The janitor in the clinic should be... That should be empty. Kitty? Kitty? Hmm, never seen that before. What the hell is that? Oh. I don't like little shadows running around. <clears throat> yeah, this. This is weird. The way he walks around it, I remember this. He walks around it, it didn't seem, it didn't show the whole clip, but he walks around, fully around that thing and then you can tell, so you can tell that there's no ropes around it or anything. Last order, staff at a bar replace CCTV of a very unusual occurrence of a glass being picked up then filled up with a drink. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I don't know, it's kind of, it's hard to judge, because you could have somebody in like a green screen bodysuit that, you know, you could potentially, uh, I don't know, maybe not, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you could, obviously you could fake any of these, but it's pretty weird. The ghost was thirsty. 
is a thirsty ghost. I'm hearing strange noises coming from the bathroom, which is very unusual. I'm here alone. It's in the bathroom. I don't know. I think I used to have that shower curtain. Mm -hmm. What the? F That's what he said. My new house is haunted. That's a bot. This shouldn't be playing music. Should it not? I mean, it's a keyboard. Now this kid's, this kid's toys going off is always creepy. What was that? This is terrifying. I caught it on camera. Hello, what do you want? Is there an entity? Hola. Hello? What do you want? What do you want in my house? Are you a spirit? Uh, OMG, OMG, look at the door. Hello? Paranormal activity has started again. Ladies and gentlemen, the noises have started again. Less of a bob. Did the door just close on her? Hola? Hello? OMG, this is so scary. Don't like it. There's nothing there. I heard screams inside my room and this happened. Listen. It's weeping noises. I didn't have the courage to continue recording back in the bathroom. Mm. Hell no. Time to set the place on fire, collect the insurance money. Yeah, I don't think so. Man, I'd be getting a hotel for the night or something. Hitting up a friend. Hey, I'm coming over. I'll show you the videos. Just, you trust me. Dang, that's horrifying. In your bedroom, supposed to have a Buddha there to protect you? Dang. Rub my Buddha belly right now. Rub it nine times. There you have it, folks. That is another compilation of some of the creepiest TikToks I can find. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure and check out all my old reaction videos. I got a bunch of them, so go check them out. Merch shop is live. You can check it out. You know where to find it. Beanies, tie-dye beanies, sweaters, hoodies, shirts, gym crew shirts, stickers. Get them all. Get one of them. I don't know. Don't get any of them. I don't know. Uh, but go check it out. <laughs> it's not a good way to sell your merch. <laughs> if you missed last week's Conspiracy Theories 101 video where we do a deep dive on a few real-life true conspiracy theories and the history of the term as well as how to be a more responsible digital citizen, be sure and check that video out. I'll link it right up here. Or maybe it's over there. I don't remember, but it's somewhere. So go check that out. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, stay creepy.